I want to try making this fire truck here in Fusion 360 um, and I'm not going to be too worried about the exact dimensions and things like that. The important thing here is really to learn about making assemblies and how things fit together. Um, the truck has five parts so we'll start by making them and then we'll go from there. So I've got a new um, uh, working environment here. I'm going to save this as fire truck uh, and then I'll start by trying to make the truck body um, and I will sketch a rectangle and the body is uh, 50 by 100 roughly uh, I think. And then I can stop that sketch, extrude it. I'm going to go through the um, the part modelling bits of this quite quickly. Um, if you're not sure what I'm doing in part modelling, you might want to go back and look at some of the part modelling exercises that we've had before. Um, so I've now got the basic shape of the truck. Um, it's got nice rounded edges here, here here and here. I don't quite know what dimension to give them. If I say 10 that looks pretty good to me. I'll say I'm happy with that. Um, and it's got some windows. I don't really mind where the windows go. We'll put them uh, here like that. That looks fine. And extrude that inwards uh, five millimeters that'll be about right. Um, I guess what I could do just um, to kind of show you the the idea is uh, instead of making the same window on the other side I can pattern a feature where the feature is that extrusion. I found it in this um, instruction list at the bottom and if I want the mirror plane uh, I can choose this plane here and mirror it about that and then I've got windows on two sides. Um, there's also a window on the front of the truck which is a two-point rectangle and I'll put it there and stop that sketch and I'll extrude that back five millimeters. Uh, it may be that the way I've done that almost cuts through the truck. Uh, maybe I should have made each of these extrusions four millimeters. I'll just go back and edit them so that there's no danger that we're going to cut. So we've got a, a hole somewhere. Uh, so that one can become four and if I edit that one it can also become four. Again, I mean, I'm not actually sending this out to be made but it's worth just getting it approximately right. Um, so that looks fine. Uh, I'm happy with that. Uh, next, the truck has to have, it's going to have four wheels and then a ladder support on the roof uh, and a ladder kind of holder on the roof. So we'll put in all of those. Um, if I sketch on here, the axles I know are separated by 70 millimeters. So if I make them 15 in from the ends, uh, that'll work quite well. Um, so I can, I'm going to say they're five millimeter diameter. That looks fine. Um, I guess I could make that slightly lower on the truck. Maybe I'll move it to there. That looks good. And I'm going to extrude that uh, 10 millimeters into the truck. And then what I can do is to pattern that on a rectangular pattern. So we're patterning that object along um, I guess this direction and uh, we're going to have uh, two of them spaced at 70 millimeters. Not sure that direction's registered because well, uh, I wanted to select first the object, sorry, and then the direction uh, two objects spaced at 70 millimeters and that looks about what I wanted. 
um, and I don't want any in any other direction um, so I'll just make that uh, sorry not zero but one um, just in case it thought about creating any more so that's good now we've got those um, holes where we wanted them and again you could do that in different ways it doesn't really matter how you do it um, and I'm going to mirror those again um, so I'll mirror can I choose that and that not obviously interesting so it looks like I'm going to struggle for reasons I can't quite understand to mirror the pattern uh, what happens if I don't select anything and instead I just select the pattern still doesn't like that um, okay well I'll cancel that and I'll just draw them on the other side um, uh, if I put in a circle should be able to see that it matches up um, you may have noticed as I was moving around there I could see that circle and I'll just um, for, for all the time it takes I can line this one up there and that's fine and extrude both of those I mean I guess Sorry, that extrusion wasn't quite right. I was too busy talking and not busy enough getting it right. Um, minus 10 millimeters, okay. Um, so I'm happy with that. And then I want to put a hole in the roof. I, I guess it would have been nice somehow to make sure that all these holes, if I move one of them, then I end up moving all of them. But um, well, I haven't done that. So. Um, you can decide how you want to put those four holes in. Yet another way to do it would be simply to drill them as holes all the way through, which might, for all I know, be how they actually do it on these trucks, should they make them. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now is sketch another hole. Uh, this is the hole that the uh, ladder mount will fit in. Again, I don't really mind where it goes. And I can stop that sketch and extrude that down 10. Uh, and then finally, I want to create the uh, kind of ladder holster. The ladder itself, I think I remember, is 18 millimeters wide. Um, so what I'll do is to sketch a rectangle, which is, if I go there, it would be 20. Um, Let's try and get it to be uh, 50 wide. Hang on a minute. Let's try and get it to be... Um, I don't know why I'm thinking so hard about this. We'll go for 26 in the end. So let me get some dimensions. Um, if it's 26, then we want it to be... Thirteen from the center. That seems fine, and it's already five in that direction. Um, that's fine. I'm happy with that rectangle as it is, and then I'm going to extrude that upwards. Um, we might make it three millimeters, or even two millimeters. Doesn't need to be very high, uh, and then just check that's all part of the same thing and then the last thing that I'm going to do is just sketch onto there a couple of um, mounting pads like so and I'll extrude them upwards uh, three millimeters so that looks pretty nice that's about the the kind of thing that I was hoping for for this truck. Um, and last couple of things to do. First of all, 
I'm just going to set the physical material. Um, there is, I think, just some generic wood, uh, which I'll go for. I'm not too sure what kind of wood I'm imagining this truck made out of. Um, and then what I do know is it's... Sorry, I just hit escape a few times there. Um, it is painted red. So I'll go to appearance and now I get various options and I'm going to choose to paint it uh, red. Enamel seems to be my option so that's what we'll go with. Um, and I wonder can I paint one face if I hit escape and then click on there and say appearance I might just be able to drag. Yeah, this is working okay. Um, and just for the aesthetics of it, I wonder if this will work or not. didn't work so I will undo it. Now I've got a nice uh, red truck. Um, I don't think I'll bother trying to make the... All right, I will try to bother making it the colour I want it to be. Um, we'll do it face by face. OK, uh, that's the fire truck body that I was pretty much hoping for. I'm kind of happy with all of that. Um, and so what I will do, I'll just hit save. Um, and I'm also going to, uh, I'm going to now take this fire truck body and create a new component, which I'll call fire truck body. Fire truck um, cab. I'm just not using the word uh, body because that is a word that gets used specifically for bodies in fusion, and so I don't want to confuse myself later on. Uh, that's good. Now, what you'll see is I can still see it as a body, but it's within this component which is called fire truck cab. We'll kind of look about at why that might be useful. Um, as we go through. But what I'm going to do is move the whole fire truck just for now um, forward so I can start creating a new component. Um, I'll move it 100 millimeters. Uh, good, so that's all kind of uh, fine and now what I can do is right click and say new component and we're going to make the second component which is the axle. Uh, this is relatively straightforward to, to make, I think. Um, this is going to happen when we start moving components around. Um, when we move something and then start a new task, uh, sometimes we'll just move things temporarily and sometimes we'll move things because we actually want to stay there. If we moved it temporarily, we can hit continue and it'll jump back to where it was. If we moved it because we want it to stay there, we can hit capture position and it'll stay there. Um, I'm going to keep moving things away from the origin so I can keep sketching around the origin just for convenience. So I'm going to go like this um, and just for now um, I'm going to turn off the fire truck just so we're not looking at it because all I'm interested in is drawing the axle. Um, now if you remember on the fire truck when I drew 
uh, the holes in the base that these axles are going in to go into. I made them five millimeters. So I will make this five millimeters and then I will extrude it. Uh, um, I'll stick with 10 millimeters on that. That's fine. And then I'll sketch again here. Um, and I think I want this to be eight. And uh, extrude that uh, two millimeters. Okay, I'm happy enough with that as the uh, axle that I'm going to use. Uh, so I'll hit save again um, and that's in place and then um, I'm just going to turn this fire truck back on so we can see where it is. I can move this axle um, and again it's really just a case of getting it out of the way for now. Um, you'll notice the fire truck is greyed out. That's because I'm sort of looking at the axle, working on the axle at the moment. At any stage, I could either say activate the fire truck. Now the axle's greyed out and the fire truck is back as something we can look at. Or I can activate the whole assembly and now they're both kind of in play to work with. Uh, I'm going to create now the wheel. Um, which involves, uh, this is one of the easiest sketches. Again, I'm going to capture position, all the things I've moved. I'm quite happy if they stay moved just for now. And I'm going to turn off the visibility on things I'm not using just at the moment. Um, so the wheel is a circle and its outside diameter is, I'm going to say 25, 24. Uh, I'm just going to look that up actually, because I did have a number for that. It's here and the outside diameter is 24 and it's going to be five wide and it needs a space in the middle that's big enough for the axle. Um, so I'll make this six and then my five millimeter axle will fit through it. I can stop that sketch and create the wheel five millimeters wide. Uh, and I suppose one more thing that I can do that I should have done with the axle before I finished working on it is I can set the physical material to be generic wood and I can set the appearance to be black enamel paint. Um, one more thing I'm going to do just now just so we can see some things later on. It's, it's quite difficult to see if this is rotating when it's uh, black enamel paint. Um, so I'm just going to sketch on this face and put in, um, let's make a line like that and another line like that. And then I'm going to project. I'm really experimenting here. This might not work. Project that and project that. Let's see how it goes. Uh, so I'm hoping that I could, in theory, now extrude this space here ever so slightly. And it looks like I can. Um, so I'm going to now stop that sketch and uh, extrude that back one millimeter and that looks fine so I'll say okay and now what I can do as well is to go to physical material uh, sorry not physical material um, appearance and just on that face there and nowhere else I'm going to make that white So, um, okay, let's do it this way. Uh, appearance, choosing the face specifically and dropping that on. And we'll say, okay. 
Um, I'm not sure I like that. I'm not sure I'm particularly convinced by it, but what I might just do is uh, on this I extruded it one millimeter. Let's make it more like 0 0.1 millimeters. And then it just comes up as slightly less like a, a mistake. Um, okay, that looks good to me. I'm happy with that. So now I can go back, uh, activate the whole fire truck, turn on the visibility on the fire truck and the axle. We're starting to get the things we want coming together. Uh, and I can move this wheel out of the way. Eventually what I'm going to do is sort of start fitting things together. Um, the wheel and the axle obviously will pair up and then fit them into the truck. But at the moment I'm just getting all the bits in place. Um, so next uh, we want to create a new component which is, I'm going to make the ladder. Um, Again, I'll turn off the visibility on the things I've already made. And the ladder, uh, if we just look at the drawing, it's here. It's 18 millimeters wide. The rung spacing is five and the whole thing is 75 millimeters long. And that's about all the information we've got. Um, so let's start by creating a sketch um, sorry, not creating a sketch, we're already in a sketch, creating a two-point rectangle. If I want it to be 18 millimeters wide, um, then I probably don't want to use the, autom the sort of snap to fit. That's going to cause me problems. So I'm just going to avoid snapping to fit on things if I can. Um, that'll do okay. And then put in the actual dimensions I want. This is kind of one of the sides of the ladder that I'm making at the moment. We said it was going to be 75 long. Um, and I'm going to make it two millimeters wide. And the other thing that I want, if it's the whole ladder is going to be 18, uh, then I need this dimension here to be nine. Um, and I'll just Just align it. Not quite sure why it wouldn't let me say. I guess maybe I can use the sketch palette to say um, horizontal alignment between that and, or vertical alignment between that and that. Um, so I line that up to be about where I wanted it. Um, that's all okay. And now I can, um, I guess maybe what I'll do is I'll make a mirror line here like that. Um, on my sketch palette, I'll make that line construction. So that is now a construction line, hence it's dotted. And what I can do is take all of this and say I want to mirror it about that line there. Um, I could have done a solid mirror of the solid part. Maybe that would have been a better way to do it. But anyway, we're fine. Uh, we'll get there on this. I'm going to extrude those two out. Uh, two millimeters, so they're square. I'm hoping they're 18 millimeters apart. Of course, we can always come back later and uh, fix them if not. The next thing that I'm going to do is uh, sketch on here. 
and uh, one of the things that's going to be useful is if I slice my graphics so I can see where I'm sketching and this is starting the rungs I'm going to make my rungs circular I'm going to have a rung there uh, that looks like it's only four millimeters in I might make the first rung six millimeters in doesn't really matter um, and I will make the rung diameter 1.5 I'm not an expert in ladders but that seems all right to me uh, and now I can extrude that rung all the way up and I'm gonna say go to the next face there uh, okay that's starting to look like a ladder and then the final thing to do is to create a pattern a rectangular pattern and we want to pattern this feature in this direction spacing them every five millimeters that doesn't seem right ah so that's the total distance so I guess if I say 14 and this is 14 times 5 does that look like a reasonable looks like a ladder to me I'm gonna hit OK uh, good well I'm pretty happy with my ladder that seems fine um, the last thing that I need to do is just to make a hole for the ladder mount uh, you'll see where that's going to come in um, so I'm going to sketch on here and I'm going to sketch pretty close to the end with a small hole I'll set a diameter circle here of diameter one and I can now uh, extrude cut off that through all and that's going to be a hole that fits on that allows the ladder to sit on my ladder mount um, and I like that ladder the last thing I guess I can do is to make it um, obviously mostly ladders aren't made out of uh, or these type of ladders aren't made out of wood they wouldn't be on a fire truck but it's a wooden toy so I'll make everything out of wood um, and then I will change the physical appearance and I'm gonna make my ladder gray and I hit save go back and activate the whole assembly look at everything together we've got nearly all the bits we need now and I'm going to um, move my ladder just so I've got room to make the last thing that I need which is the ladder mount uh, good so the ladder mount um, capture position I'm going to create it as a reasonably large circle the ladder itself is 18 millimeters wide so I guess the mount needs to accommodate the ladder uh, I'm gonna make it 30 millimeters wide that's still smaller than the width of the truck so that should be fine and I'll extrude that upwards like so uh, next we need a pin on the bottom of that to fit in the hole that we've been given um, or that I made earlier so I'll sketch on there uh, sketch again a circle and this can be five so it fits snugly in that hole and extrude that circle down um, no more than 10 millimeters I guess I'll make it eight just so that the there's room for a gap beneath it as needed um, 
and the last thing that we need are the or we need to now make the thing that the ladder fits onto that's going to be a sketch on the top surface and what I want are two um, I guess it might be helpful here to use center rectangles and then I can make something like that um, and uh, same thing again I think over here that looks fine and now what I need to do is just make sure that these give me the right room for my ladder so from there to there needs to be 10 or oh, more than 10 actually let's make it 12 and from there to there needs to be 12 okay that should work okay I think uh, I'll extrude both of those up three millimeters That should be fine. My ladder, we got to four millimeters. And then on the inside of here, I'll sketch uh, again, slicing the graphics just so I can see what I'm doing. I will sketch a circle there with diameter 0.9. And uh, stop that sketch. And finally, I want to extrude that whole circle all the way to there. Um, and that's now looking OK. I think I'll be able to fit my ladder onto there as needed. Um, so I'm happy with that and again I'll just set up the material and then I will make that uh, grey again okay that looks good I'm happy with everything I've got. I've got the fire truck, the wheel, the axle and the ladder, the four components that I need. Um, and I'm going to um, pause this tutorial there and uh, then I'll start another tutorial where I'll look at combining all of those into an assembly.